Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to this week's edition of Things I'm Thinking About Energy Over the Week. It's really regarding millennials. I recently read an article uh, from Business Insider which said that millennials still have the most negative perception about oil and gas over any other industry. So two questions come to mind. Why should the millennials join the oil and gas sector? And what can oil and gas companies do better to attract them to the industry? Coming from a millennial perspective and a part of the generation, I think really for millennials themselves, it's understanding the great energy challenge that we face. You know, we're very social conscious, want to make an impact on the world. There's a lot of things that the world needs uh, in terms of coming from energy perspective. Fresh water, food, powering communities that don't have access uh, to electrical grids. Coming from an environmental perspective, I know that renewable energy is becoming big within millennials, but in the long term, probably be more a part of the energy mix as opposed to dominating and taking it over. So as opposed to, again, sitting on the sidelines if you're environmentally conscious, it's better to get involved with the industry and help drive it towards the, the outcome that you guys want. A lot of the oil and gas companies are very environmentally conscious as well. They have a social license to operate where it makes sense from a business perspective to really drive that initiative. How can oil and gas companies do better to attract millennials to the sector? Uh, for one thing, uh, for example, at an industry roundtable last week, an executive made a comment that they attract some of the best talent in terms of masters and PhD students. That's correct. The industry has some great young talent already, but I think what they should start to do is start propping up that talent externally. Put someone out there on the front lines that the younger generation can relate to. You know, think more of a Mark Zuckerberg versus a Rex Tillerson. Something the generation can actually relate to uh, and look up to as a role model or a mentor. Maybe the industry should start taking a little bit more risk in terms of the messaging. Uh, in the sense of, the millennial generation wants to find solutions to the world's challenges. It's okay to talk about some challenges. It's okay to put that out there. It also shows what's being done, but the fact that there are solutions that need to be created. So outside of promoting the great technology innovation that the industry is doing, you should really start pushing the messaging of this energy transition uh, initiative. Oil and gas companies are transitioning to energy companies. Shell's doing great initiatives around the world right now that are incorporating solar, BP as well. Here regionally, PDO is now becoming energy development Oman. Really attracts an aspect that the millennials are interested in. The industry needs to start attracting millennials Millennials. millennials need to understand the challenge and get involved. There is a great crew change occurring in the industry. A lot of the employees are starting to retire, the older generation, and there will be a gap. Those are my thoughts about energy for the week. If to keep up with updates in this segment or an innovation, R&D, feel free to follow me on LinkedIn or Twitter.